Hi everybody, I'm Pete Ford and I'm back to give another lecture here. Brief story on secondary dominant chords and these can be either major chords or major minor seventh chords um, and they are what we call chromatic chords, chromatic harmony because they will have at least one accidental that will put us into, um, into uh, outside of the diatonic notes of the key signature that we're in. This is actually it's a concept that scares people to death, but it's not difficult at all. All we have to know is how to spell our major chords. C, E, G, F, A, C, B flat, D, F, E flat, G, B flat, A flat, C, E flat, B flat, F, A flat, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, or G flat, B flat, D flat, B, D sharp, F sharp, E, G sharp, B, A, C sharp, E, D, F sharp, A, and G, B, D. Um, if we want, we can put a seventh on top of each of these, and that would be a, a minor seventh above the root, C, E, G, B flat, F, A, C, E flat, B flat, D, F, A flat, E flat, G, B flat, D flat, A flat, C, E flat, G flat, I know you're getting bored already, uh, D flat, F, A flat, C flat, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, E, B, D sharp, F sharp, A, E, G sharp, B, D, A, C sharp, E, G, D, F sharp, A, C, or G, B, D, F. Now that's all the, the possibilities we really have to worry about, worry about with the secondary dominant chords. Now, um, with a secondary dominant chord, this, that means the word dominant means it's a five chord of some kind. And that means it wants to resolve down a fifth to the next chord, or up a fourth to, to the next chord. And if you look at my other video, it talks about the cycle, and I, I do it backwards for most people. I have it go um, this direction, clockwise, and this is the way music likes to go. And you look at my other video on the cycle if you wonder about that. But uh, C wants to go to F, F wants to go to B flat. When we talked about dominant chords, C's, C, E, G, B flat, what it really wants to do more than anything else, um, it's, it's like... Uh, electricity wants to go to ground, C, E, G, B flat wants to go to an F chord. Five wants to go to one. So each of these could be a five of what the next one is. Um, a flat, C, E flat, G flat wants to go to a D flat chord. So that could be a five, five to one in, in that key. Um, so what we have, each of these are a five of what the next chord is. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say X because each of these wants to go to the next, the next block, whatever we start with. Now, um, so all we have to do, we're going along in a piece of music, and let's say we're in the key of, um, say, B flat. All right, and here are the diatonic chords in, in B flat. We'll have um, um, B flat major, C minor, um, D minor, E flat major, F major, and uh, G minor, and then A diminished. If we just happen to have a chord that's outside of this orbit of all the notes where we don't have to have accidentals, but let's say we have a C E natural G chord. This is this automatically makes it a chromatic chord because we had to do something outside of what the key signature shows. I, it's like I got rid of that E flat and this is E natural. So I have a test I have to put myself through. C, find it on here, wants more than anything else to go to F. And it, it will always be that way. C wants to go to F. That's his, It's uh, self-actualization to, to make it to F. So um, C wants to go to F. What is F in the key of B flat? So this is a 5 of F, so then I ask myself, in the key of B flat that I said that we're in because of this key signature, F is the 5 of B flat, so this is a 5 of the 5. The slash is really the word of, okay? So it's a fifth above this. C is a fifth, even though it's a fourth up, it's a fifth above this. So anytime I have C, E, G, but I'm in the key of B flat, it wants to go to F, and F happens to be a 5 in B flat. 
Let's do some different chords in some different ways, and I, this is just a quick introduction, but it should give you um, some ideas about this. In fact, I'll put this in some different keys, but I'll keep the C E G chord. Let's say that we're in the key of um, let's say that we're in the key of A flat. All right, so I'm going to change this key signature. Um, B flat, A flat, A flat, and D flat. So we're in the key of A flat major. Well, guess what? What does C want to go to? F, right? So C wants to go to F, so I have to ask myself, what is F in the key of A flat? Well, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. It's the sixth. And in a major key, the sixth is minor. So in the key of A flat major, this is a five of six. It, this is a five of F. It just wants to go to F. Anytime there's a C, it will want to go to F. With each one of these, no matter where we are, if we have an E chord that shows up somewhere, all it wants to do is go to A. So let's say, for example, um, let's do a different key here. Do like one or two more examples. Um, let's be in the key of, let's say, D major. Let's be in the key of, yeah, D major, that's good. So, key of D major, treble clef, two sharps. I have an E major chord, and this G sharp in the middle of this E major chord makes it a chromatic chord, so this is a 5 of, or L5 of, um, wants to go to A, because A is the next thing in the cycle if we go clockwise. So I ask myself, what is, the, what is where this wants to go in the key that we're in? We're in the key of D, 5 of A, and we say A is the fifth. So it's a five of five in the key of D. And it's really that simple. If I happen to put a seventh on here, then it's a five seven of five. I'll do one more example just to uh, just to kind of give you a one more concept of how easy this is. Let's do let's do a minor key. Um, how about if we do um, let's do the key of D minor. Alright, the key of D minor and um, let's take, um, um, gosh, I'm blanking out here. Let's take a, um, um, okay, we'll do this. This will be super duper easy. A D, F sharp, A chord in the key of D minor. You're saying, oh, well, that's easy. It's just a, it's just a one chord. It's just a tonic chord. Well, not necessarily. It's a major chord where we don't expect to have a major chord, so we say, well, what's it want to go to? Well, it's a D major chord, mm, wants to go to G. So all I have to say, G is four in the key of D minor, so this is a five of four. And it's that simple. It's that simple. If I were to put a C there, it'd be a five, seven, or four. If I happen to uh, do the different um, inversions of this, let's say if I had um, if I had that, my E up there, then this would be a 5, 6, 5 of 4. Let's say I put my F sharp up here, getting sloppy. Then this would be a 5, 4, 3 of 4. Still wants to go to 4. And if I put this up here, then it's a 5, 4, 2 of 4. So that's a quick introduction to secondary dominant chords, and I hope you find this to be helpful. Um, and if you have any other questions, um, well, uh, please contact me and let me know um, what other videos I can put up or any clarifications I can make. Again, I'm Pete Ford, I'm at Adrian College, and this is the uh, quick, off-the-cuff lecture on secondary dominant chords.